Hi lovers! I'm going to do my favorite stuff of the moment. I don't have monthly favorites. I just have stuff that I like at the moment. The couple of colors that I've been loving lately, like I can't get enough of these, are um, two of them. And they're very neutral colors. Um, one is this white. And it's called White on White by Chana Glaze. As you can see, I have it on my nails now. You only need like maybe two to three coats of this and you are all good, girl. So then the next one is this nude color. It's called Nude and it's by, um, you know, the Love and Beauty line by Forever 21. Um, I really like this because it's just a great nude and I've been loving nudes lately, um, especially on my nails. This and this, oh my god. Love, love, love. Very, very much. Definitely my go-to nail polishes as of lately. And of course, my all-time favorite top coat is Sesh Beat. I love this stuff. I love that I don't have to wait like half an hour to an hour for my nails to completely dry. So, uh, yeah. Uh, 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 uh. Got an itch, but I don't want to ruin my foundation, so I have to tap. But let's go to makeup brushes. I've been loving two brushes lately. I don't know if I mentioned these, but there are these two. One is by e.l.f. And this is the contour brush. Yep. It is from their studio line. Um, $3 for this thing. Looks like that. If I compare it to the 219 by MAC, um, it's a lot wider. It's not so pointy at the end. And it really gets into my crease and just is a fun this is a fantastic job at just blending it out and really getting and packing the color in on there. I equal tools. I believe. It's just the big powder brush and I love this stuff for putting on my powder and also for putting on my bronzer. I like to pinch it like this and then I'll go carve out my face. Yeah, so I don't like to So I really like this brush. It's super, super soft and I love it. What's next? Um, now time for makeup because that's the only thing that I've left and it. Woohoo! We love makeup. Okay, this. And it's a little sample size of some Stay Don't Stray by Benefit. It's their um, eyelid primer and also a concealer primer. So, I've been liking this just because um, when you put this on, as you'll see, um, it comes out flesh tone color. And you rub it in and you can see it's still flesh tone and it's matte so I think that for under the eyes it's awesome then you get some more coverage with that and then your concealer so extra coverage we all need that right okay and then it's great it's a great primer for the lids um, I have dry lids so it works really great 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 for me and then for the eyes okay I've been liking two mascaras like a lot lately um they are this one, the Smashbox Full Exposure, the wand looks like this. Very, very big. Like I said, oh daddy. I like the smell of it too. It smells like regular mascara, but whatever. This is a really good one because I feel like with this one, I don't have to use another mascara in combination with it. Like sometimes I'll have to use one to volumize, one to um, lengthen. And with this one, I don't have to do that, y'all. Probably not for people with smaller eyes, just because smaller eyes and shorter lids. Smaller eyes and shorter eyes. What's this called? These hairs? Um, eyelashes. Oh, I'm an idiot. Yeah, because this wand is super huge and you'll probably make a mess all over your eye. You don't want that, girl. You do not want that. Next would have to be the Max Volume Flash by Rimmel. Rimmel or whatever, extreme black. I love the fact that it's so hot pink. Oh, I would say it's like a neon pink and I really, really like it. it. Tends to clump just a little bit, but I really don't mind because I can always like take um my, what is this? Um, this thingy and I can just like run it through my lashes and it'll take the clumps out. And yeah, it's really, really black too. So I do like this a lot and I love the packaging. Packaging is almost like seriously 50% of the product, so I love it. So I've been loving, loving, okay. I'm gonna stop saying I've been loving because, God, hello, it's a love video. Of course, it's gonna be loving. LA Splash Eyeshadow Sealer. This you can only find in Ulta, from what I know of. And it's really big, right? And long, yeah. 
but it's a doe foot applicator and what I do is I just kind of you can apply it directly but I like to keep my doe foot um, clean so I'll put it on my finger and then I'll put it onto my eyeshadow and it doesn't lift the eyeshadow that much at all and it really sticks on glitter guys so this is for glitter freaks like me who need an adhesive I know this is itchy. Yeah, it's really good and this has lasted me a really long time. It's great for foiling pigments, so all you gotta do is put it on there and then you put the pigment on top and it'll be foiled. I love this. Okay, I love Wet n Wild in general, but this palette is amazing. It's just a great everyday palette. I hate doing the same eye every single day, but with six of these colors, I think I'm gonna do an eye like every day of the week. Really. A different one, I mean. That's what I mean insert different oh this is vanity <laughs> i was about to tell you the net my god you guys know i've been i was like on the hunt like on the hunt for that um comfort zone palette by um wet and wild well i haven't even used it <laughs> all the time looking for it i haven't even used it um i plan to use it of course um i'm just i'm an idiot but yeah i haven't even used it i'm a loser okay so i've been loving nyx glitters I think these are amazing. Like, this is their sparkling glitter powder. And then they have the little um, mini ones. Like this. Oh, these are to die for. They're so cute. Amazing for the girl who just loves a little sparkle in her life. So, let's talk about foundation and concealers. It's the Hello Flawless by Benefit. I'm in ivory. Aw, it says, I love me ivory. Yeah. So, what this is what it looks like. It's, oh, God, it's messy. It's a little... I can open this sponge don't use a sponge much but um yeah so this thing I really like because it's buildable say you want just a little bit of coverage all you got to do is take a big fluffy brush like this dip it in there and then poop, 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 poop. Um, but if you want more coverage like you take a sponge and then you dip it in there obviously and then you just press it on and this will give you a good coverage like when I set my liquid foundation with this or if i just use this i just love the way my skin looks i love it like it's matte but it's not too matte where it looks um, chalky and like cakey or anything like that i love this it's so so cute too i love the packaging then for concealers i've been really liking um the glamouflage concealer now i realized that you can't really use this under your eyes like it sucks at under eye circles like it really does i really like this for like around my nose or any like red or pink spots around my face it's amazing for that. I love it, love it, love it. So for under my eyes, as you all know, or maybe you don't know, I use the Maybelline Mineral Power. <laughs> Excuse me. This is seriously like my HG drugstore concealer. It's nice and creamy. It stays on with, uh, of course, you have to set it with a powder. It's so amazing. It's in 0 to 1 light or fair, whatever, and it lasts a long time. So I really like this. I've had this for over a month and it's still going strong. Yeah, I like how it brightens up the under part of my eyes and I just really, really like this a lot. I have like a little love affair going on with this. So yeah, I'll try different concealers, but I always go back to this one, always. So this e.l.f. Complete Coverage Concealer. Okay, look at how much I've been using, okay? I've been using a lot of this stuff. I really like this for any kind of imperfections around on the face. Not a big fan of it under the eyes because I feel like it's a little hard to blend. Like it's not so creamy like you think it'd be. But you can use it in your eyes. It's just um, not as creamy. You know, like I said, I just repeated myself. So wow. But I think for $3, this really is pretty good. So, I am in light, obviously, because I'm as white as a ghost. If you don't like it, you're really not wasting that much money at all. Yeah, I like it. Okay? Okay. That's it. Enough said. So, let's get on with our lips. Two moisturizers I have loved and been loving. Um, sorry, I had to get it. Um, my MAC Honey Skin Solve. And, yeah, I had to deposit it uh, because the tin was destroyed. 
I know you can't get this anymore. Okay, I know, I know. It is limited edition. You maybe can find it in a CCO, maybe, maybe not. If you don't have this, if you don't have this, then may I suggest getting this? Okay, it is by Lush and it is their Ultra Bomb. And this is actually um, an all purpose little high moisturizing thing. You can use it on your elbows, you can use it on your the heels of your feet because you know those are crusty. Use it on your lips. So I use it mostly on my lips. And I got this one, which is the sample size. This is $2 at Lush. Come on, it looks like this. And as you can see, um, it looks like I don't really use it, but I do. I really do. I love it for hydrating my lips, and it looks as like glossy-ish um, as this one. Like, I will go out just wearing the, these two things on my lips, and that's it. These are great for moisturizing and making your lips feel soft and look soft as well. So, yeah, I've been liking those a lot. Oh, loving, right? Because it's a little video. I mean, love with all these products. And I'm gonna have to talk about these things because I really like these things. They're the NYX, matte, what is it? Soft matte lip creams. Oh, I can't hold them. Like, I'm an idiot. You know what? They look like this. You already know. So, um, alright, so I have Monte Carlo, which is a red. Um, Tokyo, which is a light, light, light pink, baby pink. Arisa Baba which is like a fuchsia color. And then I have Antwerp, which is an orangey coral color. I like the matte tops a lot. Smell so good. They smell like vanilla cupcakes or vanilla frosting or something. Oh my God, they smell really, really good. They better not ever change the smell on these because let me tell you, I will pick it. I will boycott, no, I won't do all that, but um, I will be highly upset. I must collect them all, just like Pokemon. But yeah, I love these. Okay, another thing that I've been loving from NYX is this. It is their Dolly Pink Lip Liner. I have it on my lips right now, and I only have this on my lips, so. Say so you don't have, um, what's that one thing called? Jermaine, Saint Germain by MAC, you'd like this. Say you don't have Lady Gaga by MAC, you'll like this. Say you don't have, um, what else? I don't know. It's a really cute color. Um, it's a perfect Barbie pink color. I love NYX. Oh my god. <gasps> I gotta catch my breath. Okay. Last but not least, beauty related. Um, I have been loving CoverGirl. Pink, purple, and like a corally pink color divine enchantress and fairy tale i love the names they're so cute swatch okay this one is this one look at that color they're very pigmented nice and creamy they last oh you know my goodness Dios mio, no. okay this one seriously is breaking on me not cool not cool. Not cool. Mm -mm. I don't like that. So here are the colors. Very pigmented, very creamy, not drying, which some dust your lipsticks are. I've been starting to eat a lot of fruit lately because summer is coming up and I'm like, Stephanie, you need to lose some weight, girl. Oh my god. I need to lose weight. Ah! Okay, they're cuties and yeah. Um, they're any they're mandarins, so a mandarin is so small compared to an, a regular orange. Oh, oh, but these things are so sweet and good. I can eat like 10 of them in one sitting. I'm gonna eat one right now. You know what's so funny? Anytime I see the word cutie or I see like cuties, it reminds me of my um, high school best friend. Ever since she was like a little baby, um, they everybody called her cutie. She lived up to the name, okay? Because she had these curly red brown hair these curly red brown hair doesn't make sense and um freckles and she was just a little cute boricua those are my favorites of the moment hope you guys all enjoy them that was a lot of stuff now i have to put all this back thank you very much Ugh. all right see you guys later bye